In this video, I'll introduce the first assignment for this course, analyzing and comparing the current energy use of the building you want to make zero energy. In a building, energy can be used for a number of purposes. The most important are heating, cooling, domestic hot water, ventilation and lighting. But also cooking, washing, refrigerating, computers and televisions. All these different components will result in the energy use of a building. The energy for all these purposes must be provided by what we call energy carriers. An energy carrier is a substance that contains energy that can be converted to heat or used for any other energy consuming purpose. The most common energy carrier is electricity, the most versatile of all form of energy available. Other examples are fossil fuels like natural gas, coal and oil. And wood can also be an energy carrier when used for heating or cooking. As a first assignment, we want you to figure out which energy carriers are used and for which purposes. Therefore, you must choose a building to work with. The building you would like to make zero energy. These are a few requirements for the building you choose. It should be an existing building. And it should have a heating or cooling system. And not, it should be not too big or too complicated. This can be your own house, your school or your office. Now you have to find which energy carriers are used for your building. The first one is always electricity. Virtually every building uses electricity for lighting, computers and other appliances. Sometimes electricity is the only energy carrier, but most of the times there is an additional energy carrier for heating and cooking. For example, an average Dutch house uses natural gas for heating, cooking and domestic hot water, and electricity for lighting, washing, refrigerating and all other electrical equipment. For example, a house in a tropical climate might use electricity for cooling and butane gas for cooking. The next step is to figure out the yearly energy consumption. If you can get your hands on the energy bills, this is the easiest way. This can be quite hard because most people have no idea how much energy they use in their own home. Or else you have to make an educated guess. For electricity, you can check the electricity meter for one or two days to estimate the daily average use. Or you can take average values that are applicable in your country. For example, the average Dutch household uses 1400 cubic meters natural gas and 3500 kilowatt hours electricity per year. When you have the data on the energy use of your building, it should be made comparable. Therefore, the energy content of the energy carriers must be converted to kilowatt hours and megajoules. In the course documents for this week, you can find conversion factors for several energy carriers. For example, one kilogram of dry wood equals 5.6 kilowatt hours or 20 megajoules. And one cubic meter of natural gas equals 9.8 kilowatt hours or 35.2 megajoules. Most of the electricity worldwide is produced in a power plant using fossil fuels like coal or gas. If the electricity comes from wind turbines or hydroelectric power, no fossil fuels are used. On average, worldwide, 65% of the electricity is produced with fossil fuel power plants. For this course, we take an average efficiency of 45% of the electricity production by fossil fuels. So, for one kilowatt hour of electricity, you need 2.2 kilowatt hours or 8 megajoules of fossil fuels, so-called primary energy. This is an example to calculate the total primary energy consumption per year. Again, we take the average Dutch household. It consumes 1400 cubic meters of natural gas, which equals 13.2 megawatt hours of primary energy, and 3500 kilowatt hours of electricity, which equals 7.8 megawatt hours of primary energy. This converts to a total of 21.5 megawatt hours, or 
77.4 gigajoules of primary energy. Now the next step is to calculate the primary energy use per person and per square meter floor area. In the example of the Dutch dwelling, the energy consumption is based on an average of 2.2 persons per household and a floor area of 120 square meters. So the average energy consumption is 9.8 megawatt hour or 35 gigajoule per person and 179 kilowatt hours or 645 megajoule per square meter. When you calculate the energy use like this, the numbers are comparable between different building types and different climates. At the end of this week, we will discuss and compare the energy data you have submitted. For the assignment this week, we want you to choose a building to work with, find some data about the energy carriers and the energy consumption, calculate the primary energy use, calculate the energy use per square meter and per person, and compare your result with two other learners. Further instructions for the assignment can be found on the next page.